Hello guys, so hey, hey, let's just open Cinema 4D for today. Woo! Cinema 4D! Hey, hey, did you see something? It's different. Yeah, it's different. Uh huh, uh huh. So, in this tutorial, you will see, you will know how to change your startup loading bar. Enjoy! <laughs> Hey, I hope you enjoyed that little intro I made. So, this is Cinema 4D. So, for you, I think you have something like this. Am I right? Something like it, okay? So, we're just gonna change it completely. So, you can create like your own design, you can change it to actually everything you want. So, just to be original, we're gonna change it. So, we need to go to the folder where the current location of the file is so to go there you need to go to app data this is just basically okay app data i may be gonna leave it in the description so just a search bar i know on your windows apple or something everything the most of those have app data i don't know about apple but windows it does so app data press ok find file folder maxon then we go to the cinema 4d folder so in here like hup, yeah all we need um, then here, resource, resource, yeah, and models, and then in here there's Cinema 4D plugins, and then BMP, that's all what we need, baby. So, in here there are a few, like, things we actually don't need, so, all we need to change, like, and start the loading bar is splash 14, so, if you just can go to this folder, or if you just can't find like the location of this file yeah I just show you but maybe some few people just type in the search bar splash 14 splash underscore 14 and you have it so just gonna remove this because I'm in the file so it's easy you guys cool so you just select it actually and you open it with like a picture editing program because yeah if you open it in this position you just can make your own file and drag it in here and name it splash 14 but we're we are just gonna change it like open width so this means open width and open it with a video editing uh no i mean a picture editing program so for me adobe photoshop of course and yeah wait a bit so we just opened like or picture load up bar for cinema 3d so we're just gonna change it so i'm just gonna change it like i'm gonna import like a picture and um, yeah, just place a picture and search for file so maybe in here somewhere i sh yeah this i love this picture just like yeah make it like a cool look and uh, you can ju just do whatever you want, okay? It's it's your style, just do whatever you want. Make like a render or something. It's all up to you, it's all up to you. So, okay, I'm just gonna import like this. And yeah, maybe a little thing to know. You just don't wanna go too dark under like here because if you like start Cinema 4D, there's a loading thing in here if you see. and we want to actually see that if you make like a new startup loading bar so we want to see those because if there's an error or just yeah we just want it to be there okay so <laughs> we want to see those because it might can get handy if you get an error or something you know so just gonna like a clean area under there okay just <laughs> if you yeah okay just accept it okay <laughs> You don't have to if you don't want to, but I recommend it. So yeah, this is my picture. I'm just gonna create like a little border actually to to see the loading bar stats. So yeah, I'm just gonna create like a little selection. So you don't have to do this in your um, actually art. So just create whatever you want. I'm just gonna create like a little selection. Mm. 
this looks fine for me and just gonna invert it with control shift and I and that will invert your selection so maybe a little tip so mm, now I'm gonna create like a border thingy um, let's just see a nice color and maybe if you do this mine get handy if you can yeah add a new layer so you can overlay this or screen this yeah. maybe a color that fits the background so just gonna double tap this and change the color to maybe this and then this could be a color uh, yeah, I don't know this maybe looks fine for me uh, yeah okay just take this and maybe add like drop shadow that is also a nice thing to have so drop shadow Let me see. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe just nah, back. Uh, I don't know. Mm, maybe that's just a little bit too brown. Maybe a little blue in here. So um, oop this maybe I don't know mm. just uh, ah gonna go back in here where where I, where I had that selection so I can just do this again mm. yeah create a new layer and wow I don't know think this looks fine for me and just uh, Mm. I don't know, okay, just just this, okay. So maybe something like here. Drop a shadow. This is just like a false thing. I don't gonna go like in detail for this. So this is just a tutorial for you guys. So yeah, this looks fine, okay. So this is it, and I'm gonna save my work. So safe as like the most people do so um, then we want to save it like a GP, GPG <laughs> okay so then we can see like our work because we um, opened or file like open as so you can go back in this position of the folder so yeah just save it in here so Splash 14, make sure this is your name of your work. So if you're not in this folder, you can just drag it to the position of this folder and name it Splash 14. So then save it. So this means save. Um, yeah. Now it asks, do you want to replace it? Because there is already a Splash 14. So we want to replace it. So just click yes on your, yeah, <laughs> on your screen and press OK, I guess and you can cancel this and yeah now if you open cinema 4d the magic will happen so ta -da, i have this now as a startup layout um actually a startup loading bar i actually don't know what it's called but i'm just gonna call it startup loading bar because yeah it's nice okay guys so i open cinema 4d come on <laughs> I just clicked too many times uh, just because I'm recording okay so open cinema 4d open cinema 4d yeah so we have this so yeah I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial so this is just a quick tip because some of you guys just yeah want a different look to their cinema 4d and to be original it you can now create like your own load of bar thingy, whatever it's called. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you actually enjoyed it. So I think that's it for this tutorial then. Maybe leave some yeah, ideas for the next tutorial and that's it. Peace out guys. Bye.